Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial, we explain how to correctly install Gazebo inside of the ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco working installation and in Linux Ubuntu 24.04. Since Gazebo Harmonic is a recommended version of Gazebo for ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco, we will explain how to install Gazebo Harmonic version. Note that Gazebo Harmonic is not Gazebo Classic that works with previous versions of ROS2 such as ROS2 Iron Irvini and ROS2 Humble. Also, you will have to completely rewrite pieces of ROS2 code that were originally written for Gazebo Classic to be compatible with Gazebo Harmonic, and more about this in our future tutorials. Also, a number of users have reported issues installing Gazebo Harmonic inside of ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco, and the issue appears to be with a single command that has to be executed after the installation, and we will explain this later on. Let's explain two approaches for installing and running Gazebo Harmonic. The first approach is to install and run Gazebo Harmonic independently from ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco. That is, install and run Gazebo Harmonic as a standalone application. This is possible. And we explain the installation procedure in our previous tutorials whose links will be given in the description below this video. And the second approach is to install and run Gazebo Harmonic inside of the ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco installation. In this tutorial, we will explain how to perform this type of installation such that you can easily integrate it, Gazebo with ROS2 nodes and applications. Okay, let's start. The first step is to open a terminal. Click here and search for terminal. Then I will resize this terminal window such that you can see what I'm typing and you can also follow the manual I wrote together with me. First, we need to verify that we have a proper version of Linux Ubuntu and ROS2. Namely, to install Gazebo Harmonic inside of ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco, we have to have Ubuntu 24.04. To verify the Linux distribution, simply type this. And as the output, you should see something like this. Release 24.04, or over here you should see Ubuntu 24.04. This third number really doesn't matter. Next, we need to verify that ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco is properly installed on our system. The best way to do that is to try to source this file. And if you can source it and there are no errors, this is a first good sign. However, the best check is to echo this environment variable ROS distro and you should see Jazzy. Another way is actually to simply print it out by executing this command. And if you see Jazzy, it's good. This means that ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco is installed on our system. Next, whenever you want to install a package or a program in Ubuntu Linux, you need to run these two commands. Do sudo apt-get update and then enter your password and then do sudo apt-get upgrade and do this. Perfect. Let's continue. Now, believe it or not, you can install ROS, actually Gazebo Harmonic for ROS2 by running this command. This command will do the following. It will actually search for the recommended version of Gazebo for your particular ROS2 distribution. And over here notice that I didn't even wrote my ROS2 distribution, I just simply wrote ROS distro and this is actually an environment variable and in my case this will be jazzy. So this command looks reads like this sudo apt get install ROS then instead of this jazzy ROS GZ. So what will happen behind the scene this package installation manager will search what is the recommended version of gazebo for jazzy and the recommended version is actually Gazebo Harmonic and it will install Gazebo Harmonic. So let's run this 
and here notice this you will need around 750 megabytes to install so click on yes and click on continue and over here you have to be patient since this will take some time now to run gazebo we simply need to write gz sin and before I actually execute this command, I will have to tell you the following. If you now try to run this command, it will not work. And why is that? Well, you should understand that currently Gazebo is installed inside of the ROS2 environment. And we need to actually source the environment once more to refresh it and to load the newly installed package related to gazebo simulation so let's run this and to show you that this will not work and bang it's not working now to fix this issue you need to execute this command so execute this command and now you can run gazebo by simply typing gazebo simulation and bang here you are you're inside of the gazebo environment and let's test this environment okay so the first step is to choose one of these simulations. For example, let's choose this one. Let's choose a robotics one. Click here and click on run. And let's verify that this simulation will work. Okay, here you need to be patient since it will take some time to load this simulation. And here behind the scenes, you should see what's happening. You can see that some things could not be loaded, for example, could not resolve file texture. However, that thing doesn't really matter. Since you can see over here your robot, over here you can see some toys on the this table. And let's learn how to run the simulation and how to move the robot. To move the robot, or better to say to run the simulation, first of all you need to press here. And now you can see that robot moved and we can run the simulation. However, before we run the simulation, let me explain how to pan, rotate, and zoom in and zoom out. Okay, to pan the view, press and hold the left mouse key. Then, to rotate the view, you have several options. The first option is simply to hold the middle mouse button and to move the mouse button. And maybe that's the preferable option. And the third, or actually to zoom in or zoom out, you need to use the middle mouse rolling button, move forward, that is roll forward and backward, or you can simply press and hold the right mouse button and move the cursor left or right. To move the robot, we can use these, this section over here. And, for example, to move this joint, you will simply move this slider over here. And let's just expand this. And see, yes, you can move this joint. Then you can move this joint. Then you can move this joint. And you can see that everything works properly. You can even open and close the gripper. You can see it over here. Perfect. Next, let's close this simulation and let's try to run some other simulation. So click here and you'll be back over here in this screen. And then again, do GZ Sim. And let's, for example, select this robot environment and let's run it. And over here, here is our robot. To run the simulation, simply press here and then you can move the robot if you scroll all the way down and over here you can use the keyboard keys to move it, to move forward, press W, to move left, A, back is S and you can navigate the robot by using these keyboard keys, simple as that. And you can also try some other simulations. Good. 
Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Also on my YouTube channel, you have more than 700 free video tutorials covering different topics such as robotics, machine learning, control engineering, signal processing, or even some lightweight or better to say lighter topics such as 3D modeling, Blender, etc. Okay, that's all and see you in the next video tutorial.